Good afternoon from quite a windy, where are we, Hungerford? Hungerford! <laughs> I wouldn't normally like moving the boat in this, but a few have gone past and we are desperate for water and yes. it's like one swing bridge, one lock away and a bit of a cruise. I might get, the swing bridge is just there, I might get you to run along open it so mm -hmm. I can just plough straight through. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really like... It's going the right way though. No, it's pushed us downstream which means we're going to be out of control. If you're going against it, you can throttle up to oh. turn, but we don't really want to be going that fast. But I'll just push the bow as quick as I can and then rip that pin out and cruise on through. There's Simple. black and white ducks here as well and they're really cute. Yeah, lovely, aren't they? Come on. Ah, uh, the thing was, try that now. Hold it a bit longer on the glow plugs. A bit further over. It's over. Yeah. <laughs> First time. I think Danny's struggling with the swing bridge. It's bloody windy. And that last one I did was really stiff as well. well I can't move it. The last one I did was stiff as well. I've struggled to get it this far. Push, 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 push. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. I've never felt a swing bridge like that. Oh, coming from behind. Okay, we will be this side. There's two boats that have crashed up there. Huh? Ladies just told Danny it's two boats sort of crashed down there. Things one's been had its lines pulled out or pins pulled out and the other's just gone into it. So just wait and see. Get to share the next lock, which is good. It seems a little bit calmer around the corner from the wind. The literally come from around there, it's pretty brutal. That was probably the leakiest lock I've seen. That was pretty bad, wasn't it? That was very bad, actually. Do you reckon they'll stay with another swan if they're infertile? I don't know how it works, mate. You and I like to speak to Bill Oddie or someone. Managed to sneak in a wash at the water point, about halfway full now. Two toilets dropped off and the washing machine's on. Oh, and the washing up's done. Lovely. Right, Beautiful. I'm going to put his phone on, Charles. The phone's going to die. Do you want to put some water in your coffee machine? Yeah. For me, there's nothing more awkward than when someone's behind you at the water point waiting. You've told them that it's going to be quite a while and instead of mooring up, they're just holding their boat. <laughs> We're at the mooring lines. We're nearly there now, but I just feel really anxious when people are waiting for me. I don't like it. We're not it. doing anything wrong, we're just waiting for the water. We got here first. Like, it's quite a slow tap. Yeah, like, we can't do anything about it, although it does move. We've come up this end of the boat because they're literally Keep looking at us. I did say, like, we're a third full when we're a third. He's like, oh, that's all right. I'm sure they're literally not even angry, but we're in our head, they're, like, raging at us. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. <laughs> Please, can we empty the thingy now? Up? I'll wash this up, then we'll go. We're right. nearly there. Wait, you ain't got to wait till it overflows, wait. mate. Come on. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> you caved? I caved. Yeah, we, it literally is about to overflow. Oh, yeah.
thinking of heading to Kintbury next. We are done mill lock for up here. Got this lock, one more, two more, three locks, depending when we stop. Paddles on the bottom gate of that last one just fell <laughs> fell back down after Danny wound them up. I did just say that's why I'm swerving a bit, but I just saw a kingfisher. They're just so blue amongst all the green. They are just beautiful little birds. I think I've seen two. I seen one out our window the other day. That was genuinely smoother than most of mine. <laughs> Just got to let her get on with it, I think. Fair play. We are all moored up in a little town called Kintbury. Do you want to go have a nosy round? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny? They keep bullying each other, so... I'm yeah, they're, they're pretty brutal, the ducks. Now. You are. You're mean to each other. Oh, so they're being noisy. Wait, oh, she's chewing him off. Um, that one. Go on, girl. I think this one's a baby still, look. He's not as like oh yeah, did he? Well distinguished. He's got a little bit of fluff on her on her head. Let's go have a look around then. Yeah. I don't yeah. think there's much to look around. Yeah, but there's probably a pub. <laughs> That's a lot of ducks. It is, isn't it? Did you feed them? Yeah. One of the cleanest public toilets I've ever been in. I think it's only just been done. Public toilet. That was a cute little village, mm -hmm. or town, village. village. Definitely a village. Just gonna cook some tea, have an early night, and then be on our way to Newbury tomorrow. I'm really excited. We can't spend too long anywhere, so I do really wanna look around Newbury, so. Go there tomorrow, then have a couple of days there, perhaps. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah, I don't know what is after that. That's as far as uh, we've got. Reading after that. Wow, that feels closer to London, Reading. I don't know what we did without these before. That's the River Thames, we're not quite there yet. So we're at Kintbury at the minute. Mm -hmm. This whole section's three hours, so we're sort of halfway, I guess. So maybe an hour and a half. Nice. We've got a watch from Copslock, is when the Kennet comes across quite heavy. We need to put our thing on then, don't we? What? No, it just joins the canal. Uh, I thought we actually go on the Kennet, but it's sort of, you're using the water, but actually the river joins the canal, so it can, uh, you can get some cross thingy at the bottom of that lock. So you need to watch out for that. So an hour and a half there, then three hours to Newbury, but that's in and out of Newbury. So three, four and a half hours to do that lot. Easy. And then we've got three hours to Thatcham, or is that, where is Thatcham? Oh, that's Thatcham. Yeah. Three hours going through Thatcham. Three hours Woolhampton. Three hours Aldermaston, Maston. Then Bergfield, then you're in Reading. Two hours, three. So let me count that then, 12 and a half hours. So probably two long days we could get there. Yeah, that's not bad. That's all right, isn't it? And then we join the Thames. 
<laughs> I'm still not sure. At the end of this month, um, we're about in the middle. No, we're not. We're the 19th. I think from like the 26th, we're going to have some really warm days. We kind of need to prioritise paint in the gunnels but equally it would be nice to be on the thames when the weather's nice so i don't know maybe if we can get a nice mooring quickly paint it on the first two days because we only need a day to get past that bit don't we which bit like past the thames or are we just on the thames then no we'll be on the thames right the way then right let me just let me tell you you're taking too long on the video where here yeah hang on i can edit it we have to book in 48 hours in advance for Teddington. Does it not shut at a certain time in the year? No, that's all, all year round, but you have to pre... Sorry, Teddington is manned 24 hours a day, but you have to book. So it's only an hour and a half down there to get off the Thames, but you have to book Brentford 48 hours before online. I've seen the app on um, Canal River Trust site. So we need to plan when we're going to... You can moor at Teddington, but it's payable. So you could even get there, spend two days at Teddington, not rush, book your passage, and then the next day you go when the tide's right, when they allow you, and you've got one and a half hours cruise down. There's a Richmond Lock POA that might even be open, to be fair. Depends what the tide's doing. Good morning. Another quite a windy day to be boating, really, but you must move. Let's try and get a new brood today. Not too many locks, and it's like four and a half hour cruise. I think in one or two locks time, Cops Lock, Copes Lock, um, you have to be really careful because the River Kennet comes in and side swipes you after lock landing at the bottom, so definitely a bit careful, especially with that wind. The camera stopped recording when it fell, but up sketchy that bit, really open, and then you've got the weir pulling you down to the left and that's the way the wind's blowing. I'm going to put the solar panels down in the minute because they're acting like a kite. It's pushing us even more. Bloody hell. Windy? Hard work in the wind. Here we have the Kennet River, which joins the Avon River, which is why this is called the Kennet and Avon Canal. Yep, joining Bristol with the River Thames, Ooh. aka London. Is a River Thames? When does the River Thames in Kennet meet then? In Reading. Reading. That's when we joined the Thames. Oh, my phone took hell of a crash when it landed. Oh. Just while we're getting. At least back. it didn't. Crack the screen, the camera. Cameras. Have to keep a case on that because that's not going to be waterproof anymore. Actually, this ca I've had this phone for over two years now. What we filmed so many videos on, it's been so good. Touch wood. Uh, might get a new back for it. It's been very good. Longer than two years, nearly. Yeah. January 2021. It's like over two and a half years. Getting a bit windy. Just a bit. I don't. I, they were moving in the wind and they were like, acting like kites. So. Probably not advisable to be moving today, really, but it's not like impossible, it's just hard. You've got to be con like concentrating all the time. Yeah. I'm surprised how much that took the bow over there. When we join the Kennet in a minute, or when the water joins from here, yeah. that's just going to blow us further down, isn't it? Yeah, but if you're coming from this side, 
the blow our starboard side. No, port. Blow our <laughs> port side. Port, I've always got this wrong. Port, I always thought, was green and left, but port is red. What do you mean and green left. and left? The light, navigation oh. lights. But port is red light goes on the left here. Right, I'd get on because our bow's going out. Danny? Yeah? Good news or the bad news? It's the next one. So ne the next lock we got to go careful of where the river Kennet comes in. How many more have we got to go? So we've got the next one, then Hampstead. So two. Let me look at how fast. That's three, going four, five. Five more locks. Five or six, yeah. It's not too bad. Let me check. And below Newbury lock. But in that other one it said cops lock because that's where the Kennet comes, so we'll have to go careful both. Are you gonna eat this porridge? Yeah in a minute. I'll just shoot right. You don't want it, do you? Yes, I'll have it. I don't want it cold. I just I've got a good portion. I've had any today. I did have a pint this morning. Oh yeah. Nice. Refreshing. I'm a bit sad about the phone, poor little bugger. I knew it was windy when I set the tripod up, but I thought I'd be alright. I didn't see it, I didn't. I seen it go, I thought, oh, <laughs> worth it for the shot. I feel like I'm over History Channel today. <laughs> um, all the way along the K&A, and I'm assuming other canals, loads of little military pillboxes from World War II, or not maybe World War I, but I think World War II. Um, they were worried that the Germans would come up the Thames and then invade inland waterways and stuff using their boats. They built these. Do you know if they ever did do that? No, we didn't get that. they didn't touch England, did they? They, they, bo they bombed it, like the Blitz and stuff. Um, so what, people would stay in there? They'd be soldiers, that'd be boring, wouldn't it? It's not a lot happening. Or they would like be built ready just in case they knew the Germans were coming, they could then defend right here. Because this would be great to get, you think how much, like... How much land you could cover. Yeah. Well, it'd lots would slow you down, wouldn't it? And then tick over past moored boats. I doubt they had a windlass. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is Cops or Copes Lock. Let's go and suss it out, see what the stream of the river's doing flow of the river even. Oh is that the repaired one? I've seen that on the Facebook page. It's a temporary one, the, the thingy snapped. One of these snapped. They've done it out of like 9 by 2s for now. Do you see that on the Facebook page? What? It snapped. What happened? Snapped. When? Just the other day. Really? Yeah. Look how they made, will that be it now? It's they clever. No that's, that's temporary but they've done a really quite good job. That's cool isn't it? They've got like, they, they flex it, they flex a bit, but temporary oh, repair. Oh my god, that'd be so scary. Does that say Joe? I thought that'd be the toe. So. <laughs> Before we do a lot. This is where the river joins, you've got to go careful. <laughs> it's so exciting. The wind's died down a lot down here. Wow, look at that big tree that's fallen. Firewood? Yeah. That'd keep us going for winter, wouldn't it? That would. Ah. Well, that's the Kennet anyway. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You were making it sound like it was going to like gush out. Well, that's what they say in these books, but that's that's nowhere near what the Avon's like. There's a bit of log there from it. Problem is, if it's not been dried properly, it really doesn't burn that well. Yeah, but everyone else seems to get it. Yeah, but I was reading my Norwegian wood book. No, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to look at the wood. Yeah, I want to look at it. Oh, right, that goes in the... Oh. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? <laughs> I reckon we could have that. Can Are we... you allowed? Yeah. I'll take that. Yeah, if anything, we're tidying up. Naughty, but it's literally just going to rot away on the floor, so keep us a bit warm for winter. Happy? Yeah. Heating your house with wood warms up quite. 
So we're just about an hour away now from Newbury. We've got a couple more lots. It started raining on time at 11 o'clock. Um, I did the last lock, which wasn't filmed, of course, but it's a bit windy, so yeah, like another element to um, moving the boat. But yeah, hopefully a couple more locks, then we'll be in Newbury. We might get the train back and cheat and get the car because all along here has got train stations, which is really handy. Um, but we don't necessarily need the car yet, so we might leave it. Not sure, but yeah, really excited to go look around Newbury. Another weir coming up. I'm guessing that means there's a lock. I'll go this way. Bye. There's been wood at every lock. morning so it's come up to the 24 hours that we've been in this morning so we're going to be moving further into the town hopefully we can stay in another spot it's quite a way in yet it's still mm. like 10 minutes we did walk around the town yesterday it was absolutely chucking it down so we didn't film just went around the charity shops i bought a cookbook um and we were going to go out for a drink last night but it was honestly chucking it down so much, much just couldn't even bear the thought of it so it has been raining a little bit this morning but it's dry for now yeah, so. I think it probably will rain as soon as we get outside. Mm. Just a bit like that. Um, we've got our first mechanical, Ooh. mechanical death as a word, swing bridge. We've got like, put a key in and buttons go beep. So we're going to go see how that works now. I also went to Newbury Market this morning. It's on Thursdays and Saturdays, I think. And it's Thursday today. I got some belly pork and I got a chicken from the market, which was really nice, and some veg. What did oh, you do? I think I read something you need a windlass. A windlass? just up here. Newbury is stunning though, all along the canal, really beautiful houses, look. What does it say? So it's got to put a key in, turn the key and then hold the open button for this police house. Are you popping across? No, no, no. no I'm here. <laughs> Ready? But she might be. Oh yeah, I'll hang on for a minute. <laughs> We've seen boat time do one on it. I think that was a lift bridge off the swing bridge, but a car actually barged its way on whilst the barrier was on its way down. Oh. Clockwise. Yeah? yeah? Can you leave this up now till you go, get the car, the boat? Yeah. <laughs> so they can actually try and get under it. <laughs> I don't think they would have got under that, would they? No. I mean, it's not the fastest of bridges. I can't even see it moving. It's moving. I'm going to get dead fingers from this. It's spinning, isn't it? It's going. Oh, it spins, isn't it? Yeah, it's, a, yeah, it's not a lift one. It's a swing bridge. There is a lift up one, though, next, I think. Oh, oh here it goes. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Small thing. <laughs> Do you want to go get it? Yeah. Now just to wait for Joe and then we'll be on our way. It's already starting to rain. Fun? 
bloke's just come out of the lock this morning. Thank you. That was good timing. That was, that was I surprised that flow coming through there is dragging us. Yeah. I told you it stopped ringing. Secret garden project. Let's spawn it. I just read in the little book that these are some of the only lever locks in the country or on the K&A. Most of them are up north. Um, but they're actually padlocked up, they don't actually work. Good timing. reading this part narrow so the stream's quite uh, fierce fierce yeah we can coming down from the we can also look see how fast he's going oh, oh are we gonna fit under the bridge we should be all right yeah look at him go jesus ready i don't know am i Hold you on. can also see the um butchers butcher shop where you get the new resource just from which we had last night oh gorgeous right oh we've gone tick over we've got a stream here we've got a stream there <laughs> Make sure you don't go too close otherwise you'll knock that bit off. You and your bloody logs. <laughs> the butcher shop. Loads of room. Why is it? That's just ticker. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Speed off oh, <laughs> This is what we lie down the test. Oh my god. Yeah, At least really we get to places faster. Yeah, you're flying, mate. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> I don't think we've been this fast, are we? No. Tick over. There's the geese. There's all the. I guess that's the swans from the war. Yeah. I can't believe how fast he's going. <laughs> Hurry about it, No worries, mate. Credit card. <laughs> See why he looked like he's turning fast. Are these more ins? And more here? Do you want to go further? I don't know, are they? What's that, what's that CRT sign? I don't think it says two days, I think, or two out two days. Was it hot? Yeah. Yeah? Are we allowed to do this? Yeah. Slow the speed. Two up. days. Yeah. Visit a moor. There's rings as well. This one's I've seen on maps. This is the old wharf. Look, there's old wharf brain. Yeah, that's why I came earlier. We got soaking wet for absolutely no reason. Stunning, though. What was that for then? Have we told you where we're going? No. No, we're going to the Museum of West Berkshire. Ooh. Then the pub. Then the pub. Then the pub. We went back and got chewed today, didn't we? Yeah, we moved the car, emptied the wee bottles. We had to, there's no services here, so we had to drive all the way back to Hungerford to drop the wee off. There's no services right the way for another at least a three hour cruise. Nothing in Newbury, it's massive. It makes Crazy, no sense. It? Absolutely no sense. <laughs> so big, isn't it? Riverbed Kennet. Dredging operations anyway. Wow. So. In 1727, six new locks on the Avon reopened the river for barges to travel from Bristol to Bath. Construction of the Kennet and Avon Canal from Newbury to Bath to join the two rivers began in 1794. Crazy, isn't it? Like all the history. It's like rubber traditional castles. Is yeah. it castles and, oh, castles and roses, yeah. It's like just traditional paintings. Like that. Yeah. 
Who started that? that? Was it actually for the transport? And I guess it was because none of them were livable, was it? It was only the people that lived on it to do the to transport. Make, yeah, working folks, but it said because they were like sort of working travellers. Yeah. That was from almost like Roman Egyptians, I think. Oh, cool. I could be wrong, but I think that's what I read in the Narrabut painting book. Beautiful so, style, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think they would literally Everyone live? It, they would just live in this little cabin, Roman's cabin. <laughs> that bit. All the rest was for goods. <laughs> Feels like you're missing a bit. And that one, please, Governor. <laughs> you're like a chimney sweep. Yeah, Captain. Jesus. We just did that. I bet that wasn't electric then, though, was it? <laughs> so we've seen on Emily Boatmover's Instagram, there's original turf blocks, so they're not bricked up, but it's literally just a plank. There's still Surely two. that would just keep coming apart. I don't know, but there's still two left, and we'll go through one thatch, and that's almost next stop. Oh, yeah. Thatcher and Garston. Look at that, still using it in the 50s to deliver wheat. Well, we've just come from West Mills by that lock. If we ever have a child, we're getting them this book. Rosie and Jim lift the flip book, lift the flat book. <laughs> can you see a lot of birds outside, said Jim one day. Do you think a duck can see them too, asked Rosie. Let's ask him, said Jim. And then look, oh my goody God. <laughs> That was really cute. Lots of history. A lot of the history based around here is obviously canal related or river related, but yeah, it's nice to see. You liked it? Yeah. And it's free. The museum was a success. Ooh. Just been to, what was it Sainsbury's? Sainsbury's. Right, Sainsbury's stopped up on a few beers. Gonna chop up the firewood whilst it's somewhat dry, but it's gonna be a bit funny because you're in the middle of like a park, so. I don't know if that's allowed or if it's a done thing, but I need to chop that firewood and bring it inside. I think try and do those bits with the axe, move the point out of the way, and then I can start stacking the fireworks. We're going to need it soon. We've been waiting since I lost that little bird thing on the roof. The Joe cowl. ordered it. Well, he we thought he ordered it, and we're like, where is it? I was like, Joe was like, oh, they're custom made or whatever, but he looked, he didn't even order it. So we've ordered it now. It's going to be here in a week, um, which we're going to have to go back to Somerset for because. This is the chimney cowl that Danny yeah. lost the bird top. Which is a bit annoying. We probably should have got ordered to a friend's or something. Oh well. Anyway, so until then we can't really light the fire. Or we can, but as long as it's not like chucking it down with rain, so it's just going to make the fire go out or harder anyway. So, but yeah, we really are going to have to light the fire soon. It's cold. Like this morning, it was like 14 degrees. Here, degrees. Yeah, 14 degrees in here. So off. that is cold. This is um, a very messy end. Need to do some finishing touches there, but do it before. After. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I look a little bit weird, but boat's not going to heat itself, is it? It's a bit of a small axe, but isn't it? Ready? Ooh! Not bad, eh? <laughs> Let me go on the other side. Why the boat? Joe! <laughs> really struggling to finish this video off. We have ran out of time on this week's video, so join us next week to see how we got on in Newbury. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you to our patrons as well.